Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and I want to try and do more loadout videos, especially on some of the lower end ships, to try and help give those of you who have them a better shot in Arena Commander. So today, we're going to do my favorite Aurora loadout in 2.6. Now, it's worth noting here that even in an Aurora LN, the dedicated fighter of the line, you're going to be at a pretty severely outgunned situation. You're going to be out-armored and relatively slow. So you shouldn't really expect to be at an advantage just by using this loadout. Now we can say all day that pilot skill matters, and it certainly does, but at the end of the day, you're disadvantaged in a starter ship against dedicated military ships like the Super Hornet, the Sabre, and the Vanguard. Now that doesn't mean you shouldn't fly, it just means that you should really kind of set some realistic expectations for yourself, so you're not getting too frustrated. Also, if you just think about what this means in the long term, if you can become proficient flying a starter ship, once you end up earning your more powerful fighter in the universe, your skills are going to certainly translate into that new ship and you're going to be in a really good place. So with that getting out of the way, the loadout is going to be running two APAR mass drivers on the size 2 mounts up top and series 9 long swords on the whisker mounts below. Now, I like to exchange the missile rack that comes stock on the LN for the Bear MSD-423, which allows me to carry two size 3 Firestorm Kinetic Arrestor missiles um, that are going to be utilizing cross-section signature tracking. Now, on this, we've talked about the APAR mass drivers before. They're powerful, they penetrate shields, and they have really good range. They are really my go-to weapon at the moment in Arena Commander in 2.6. Now, on a ship like the Aurora, you don't want weapons that are going to chip away at your target for long periods of time. For example, the Badgers and the Bulldogs. They do fairly well. They have a sustained fire rate, um, and they're forgiving. But when you're in a fight with a faster, more durable, and more powerful ship, you don't want to be in that fight for very long. So we try and maximize damage, hence opting for the APAR. Additionally, that's why I opt to mount the two size 3 missiles on the LN instead of the you know four size 2s. They pack a ton of punch and when they actually connect your target is going to feel it. Now as far as the whisker mounted size 1s, you do have a few options, but I opt for the long swords. They have a lot of the same features that the APAR has with penetration and decent damage, but they also have a relatively high rate of fire. Now they do have a shorter range than the mass driver and they are weaker and the two don't necessarily have the same pips, but they are decent in conjunction and allows for sustained damage regardless of the, whether the target shields are up or down. Now I've used sucker punches with this kit a little bit and the pips are very close with the APAR so it is a decent combo. But since the APAR already penetrates shield so well, the shield melting ability of the sucker punch is only so useful so I opt for the longsword. The way that I like to try and play this kit uh, is to almost get into like a reverse strafe type of flight with some lateral strafe and some roll to keep your target in front of you while you're flying backwards and evading some of that fire. Do your best to land shots with your weapons while you're locking your missiles. If it's a smaller target, try to just use one missile and do the rest with your guns. But for bigger targets like Super Hornets and Vanguards and Cutlasses, um, you're probably going to be want to be ready with that second volley. Either way, it's almost an odd way to fly because you... you I don't know, you absolutely can't let them get behind you. Otherwise, they're just going to outturn you and they're going to stay out of your firing arcs while landing a lot of damage on you. You're playing kind of defensively aggressive. You're flying backwards, but so you keep them in front of you. It's weird, but it's fairly effective. The Aurora doesn't accelerate very well, but it does maintain its top speed and cruise very well. And it doesn't use much fuel. So you can try to run, or you can catch up to targets, um, but I think you just need to remember, many ships are going to be faster than you are, so running away from a fight isn't a great plan most of the time, and you will have a hard time catching people. Uh, ultimately, when you're using a weaker ship, I would also suggest looking for targets that are already taking damage, or have taken damage and just gotten out of a fight. This kind of cherry picking and getting the right target that's going to give you the best situation to possibly get a kill and get your points and get your wreck. So I'm going to try and work up some other cheaper ship setups for you to try soon. Otherwise, if you guys have questions, please let me know. Um, or if you have suggestions on your loadout for the Aurora LN, toss them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.